Hello friends, welcome to Logic Tubes and I'm Gaurav and in this video we are going to get further into uh, our C programming. So uh, for this video we have a message that even dreaming requires resources and then we are learning to program. So we also need lots of resources. Okay. So uh, this actually uh, important as in this uh, in the last lecture we have completed this uh, simple hello world program. And we uh, got an output like this. Con press Control F to uh, run the program, and we got a console output. The output in a console. Hello world. I'm Gaurav. Hi, I'm Gaurav. Okay. So uh, this is in a Dev C++. Okay. So uh, actually, Dev C++ already includes automatically includes uh, almost all the C libraries. So uh, we don't need to define. All those uh, inside this Dev C++ uh, window uh, program, but uh, when you uh, go into such uh, DOS files, uh, DOS box type uh, console Turbo for uh, Turbo C++, then uh, if you write program like this name and okay, so we have a DVO fine, and uh, we just try to print. Printer and hello world, and then we go to get ch. And the last thing we need is return zero. Okay, and this was all we wrote in our dev C++ window. And now here we try to run compile this program. So for compilation, this uh, DOS box says we need to press Alt F9 to compile. And now what it says? It says that we uh, the line compiled is three, warning is zero, and error is two. Now why the heck uh, this uh, compiler got problem? While uh, Dev C++ don't have any problem about it. It is because Dev C++ includes the C libraries internally, and don't we don't need to call those here. But in these uh, compilers, we need to call those libraries. So first of all, uh, we just get into the message here uh, that printf function function printf should have a prototype. Function get get ch should have a prototype. It is because these functions are not defined. No, these functions are not defined already. Okay, so we need something that defines these functions. Either we need to define this function manually, or we need to uh, use the uh, C libraries. Okay, so uh, the C libraries already have this function defined for printing out the output and so. So uh, to include the C library here in the our programs, we need to write some lines like uh, hashtag include. This includes the uh, uh, library. And then we give the name of the library. So here we write stdio io stdio dot h dot h is the action extension for the C library, and stdio stands for standard input output. Okay, the standard input output controls the function like printf, scanf, and so. So this standard input output is responsible of handling the operations of uh, printing output, getting a. Uh, uh, Input from the users and so. Okay. Another important library we uh, need to include is include conio dot h. Okay. It is conio dot h. That is con stands for console input and output. This conio dot h library includes functions like get ch and so. Uh, another function I wanted to write here is CLR HCR, okay, that is a clear screen function that uh, actually uh, clears all the previous data uh, present in the console. So, uh, CLR HCR, uh, hey, CLR HCR is a clear screen function, and so now let's try to run this program and see what actually changed when we, in we included the library. So, control F9. Uh, you can use Control F9 to directly run the program, or either you can use Alt F9 and then use Control F9. So we are going to run the program now. Control F9, and we don't have any error. And yes, now it is giving us the output as "Hello World." Okay, so I missed the D. So let's complete it now. Okay, 
So test it again, control F9, compile completed and now we have output in this too. So I don't want it, uh, you to con get confused between this dev C++ and these uh, turbo C type of compilers. So uh, that's why I included this class and uh, told you about those library and those library are actually important because maybe dev C++ uh, has missed some of the libraries or you uh, have to include some of the user defined libraries. So this is how we include the libraries. We are going to include it here it too so that uh, we will get a habit of including all these libraries. Okay, stdio, h, and there are many other libraries like uh, include uh, math.h or you can then change time.h. But initially, for the uh, many uh, very basic input output operations, we need those two above. Uh, libraries to be included to our uh, C program. So this is what we uh, were talking about uh, the resources we need to uh, do the programming in C languages. Okay, you can uh, see the code clearly in the big screen. So now uh, in the next video we are going to get further into our C programming and uh, we are going to talk more about variables, operations and other things. So till now, uh, this is well and good, include the libraries. Get ready with your resources to produce a very good program. Okay, so uh, meet you in the next class. Till then, please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you uh, really liked it, please don't forget to comment and tell me how bad it was or how good it was. Okay, so uh, meet you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Thank you.